Hey guys, Martin here. Uh, just coming to you with my update number three for the cancer awareness build that Rodog0822 is hosting on YouTube channel. Um, the votes are in. I've counted the votes uh, for, for those people that um, did vote for the colour schemes. I presented four colour schemes. Uh, I didn't know which to do, so I requested the help of fellow modellers. Wanted to include you all in as this does affect every one of us, this disease. Um, and so before I announce the vote, I just have a few things to talk about. One, I want to thank everybody that did make the effort to vote both on the YouTube channel and a video and also within the International Scale Modelers Forum. So I've counted the votes from both and uh, I do know which is the winning uh, scheme now so thanks for that I can move forward with that model now so after this video when I've released it on YouTube I'll be uh, appreciating and starting to paint that model so thanks again for guy, uh, guys for doing that I really appreciate you getting involved um, second one is I was out shopping yesterday and uh, I um, went by a modeling store as you do when you're out shopping you know it's just one of those accidents that happens it's not intentional and uh, I treated myself to a new model uh, I'm looking down because I'm trying to find something on my cell phone which I need to show you um, so this is something I became aware of recently in a conversation comment on um, on the International Scale Modelers Facebook page. So I want to discuss that they purchased a model with their 40% discount at Hobby Lobby. I was like, what? Where do they get that from? So I went online to hobbylobby.com and they have 40% off coupons. I don't know if you can see that, whether that's clear. But you can use this coupon every day on one item. If you buy a few items, you get 40% discount on the most expensive item. So lo and behold, I'm taking advantage of that. I've never bought a model from them before because one, they were usually around $5 more expensive than the um, distributors that I can get models from online, even with shipping. So, um, but now they got the 40% off. The model I bought yesterday came down to $5 below the price I could get it from any of the cheaper uh, alternatives from the online distributors um, so I'm going to take advantage of that and get a few more models so the model I bought and it's not a great model it was $21.99 in the store but with the 40% discount it was $13.19 which is probably about £8, £8.50 for the UK models it's a monogram kit, it's an old kit, 1970s but it's a jet that I love it was a jet that I saw when I was a kid every year at the local aerodrome when I used to go to the air shows and uh, the first jet I knew that could do Mach 2 and it used to do a flyby at Mach 2 and you'd have to cover your ears and the ground would shake and you'd get this rush as it'd go by um, and they used to be based at RAF Wittering in England which is close by to where I used to live before the Arias, the Aria GR1 replaced it and if you haven't guessed already it's the F4C Phantom. Hey, I'm not going to complain at $13.19 for a 148 scale Phantom. I did some research last night. It's not a bad kit apparently, even though it's old. Uh, some people say it's close to the Azigawa kit, but it does have some slight fit issues that need some filler, but not that bad. Um, so I grabbed the opportunity. Anyway, that's it. So I'm pleased with that nice little cheat buy there. So let's announce the uh, winner of the vote, the winning scheme. First, scheme number one. This is not the first prize. I'm just showing you that scheme and I'm going to tell you the number of votes that that got. It got four votes. Scheme number two. Got seven votes. Scheme number three. 
got four votes. Scheme number four got six votes. So the winning scheme is number two. So those who voted for number two, that's the scheme I will be painting this plane with. Um, sorry guys for the others that voted for other schemes, but I wanted to do it as democratically as possible and uh, offer everyone the chance to participate. I'll let you know now, now the vote's over. My wife voted for number one, which was one of the two choices I was torn between. I was torn between number one and number four. So I included those votes. I included number one for my wife, and there was only four votes in total for number one, including her. And I decided to go for number four, because my wife voted for number one. And that gave that six votes, so it still didn't get that enough votes to beat the number two decision. So guys, thanks for voting, thanks for your help, I really appreciate it. Number two is the one I'm going for, and I'll post a little chart after this video, so stay watching if you want to see the names of the people who voted for the individual schemes. And uh, if you guys have looked at the number of votes on YouTube and you are part of ISM and you've seen the votes there and you feel I've made a mistake, please let me know. Uh, but I've been careful, I've counted the votes a few times, checked. Um, so that's the scheme I'm going for. One final note, um, as this affects everybody, we recently in the UK lost a celebrity, Linda Bellingham. So everybody that grew up with her as the OXO lady in the gravy commercial, dropping the o crumbling OXO into the gravy and serving it with the dinner around the table with a family. We watched a family grow up through that series. Uh, that's a sad loss for the UK. She was a brave woman. She was open to make it to Christmas and have one final Christmas. She'd accepted that she was dying and was very brave and courageous about it. But unfortunately, we lost her a couple of days ago. Um, so that's a sad loss for us all. That's it, guys. So rest in peace. Uh, Linda, the pain is over. And I hope your positive energy is absorbed within the atmosphere and is absorbed into another human being that's born in a future generation. All right, thanks guys, and uh, I'm really going now. It's coming up to set eight minutes. Talio chops away, thanks again. Cheerio guys.